Welcome y'all, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Hauls and more again. I know I'm delayed on this video, but I've had a migraine and whatnot and had lots of things going on personally. So I do have three quick DIYs for you using Dollar Tree products. So I just had this little square um, Dollar Tree frame in my stash for like a year or two. And I took these white foam roses from Dollar Tree as well. And just laid them out in a pattern. So I end up using 16 of these foam roses. And what I'm going to do is paint that piece of backing black that I popped out of the frame. And I'm going to dry it with my heat tool gun real quick. Which is not a necessity, you guys. You can even use a hair dryer. I just have a heat tool. Um, and then I'm going to hot glue those little white roses to that piece of backboard. And then... Um, put it back in the frame and it'll be just a little bit frame <sighs> you can tell I'm out of practice already a little frame of roses oh we, I do use a little bit of pink paint that you see way over there in one of the spray bottles I just dip my paintbrush in it and I do give the tips of the roses um, a little hue of pink on them as well Uh, hindsight is 2020, y'all. So I will say if you guys are going to recreate this or something like this, to put the back piece of your board in the frame first and then glue the roses on because it was kind of a pain to pull those roses through because I had them too close to the edge of that uh, backboard. But all in all, I still think this turned out really cute. There it is on my mantle. And I will provide you guys with a close up as well here in a second. And there that is, and let me know what you guys think of that one. Peyton's already called dibs on that, so she'll be stealing that for her room. Um, being the video and the pictures are done. And now on to DIY number two. I just took this 11 by 14 flat canvas from the Dollar Tree. Remove the plastic, and then I'm going to use that little Valentine's Day wooden, excuse me, heart decor you guys see off to the side there that says, I love you more. I'm going to cut all the strings off of those to detach them from one another, and then I am going to lay it out on this canvas. Um, at first, I was thinking of just, like, stacking it, so having I love on top and then you more on the bottom, as you see here. And then I changed my mind and staggered it. So once I got those pieces laid out to where I wanted them to be, I took that leftover paint I had in those spray bottles in the red and pink from when I did the little um, rose topiary. And I just uh, sprayed this red and pink paint over the top of those wooden hearts that you see there. And this ends up leaving it like um, almost like an ombre effect going from dark to light. It came out really cute. I will remove those wooden hearts that you see on the canvas once the paint dries. And I do use my heat gun to speed up the drying time because, you know, I'm impatient. And, uh, you know, I'm a busy woman over here, so I got things to do. So once that's dry, I will pull those little wood hearts off of the canvas board. Set them aside. You can use them for another DIY, which I'm still debating on how to do so. And there's how the canvas is completed. And then I am going to use an 11 by 14 frame. I have, hey, hi, hi. Y'all, I'm a mess, I know. Sorry. Anywho, I have from the Dollar Tree as well. I am just going to take the plastic off, take the backing off of it, 
take out that piece of paper that has the tulips, but I'm going to leave the glass in. And then I'm going to put the canvas in and I don't replace the back piece because it will not fit unless you super, not super glue. Well, you could super glue it or hot glue it all down. I just used the prongs that were already on the frame to hold the canvas in. And that is completed. I had some white, I mean, not white, some paint residue from the mat there. But there that is on the mantle as well. And Peyton has called dibs on this as well. <laughs> I did off camera just put some, a little bit of paint on that black frame. Just because it was like too stark black to me. So I just made it look a little bit metallic with some metallic markers I had. And there's a close-up of that framed I Love You More. I think it turned out super cute. Let me know what you guys think of this DIY. And now on to the last DIY we have in this video. I just took this galvanized cupcake I had from, you guessed it, Dollar Tree. And I am going to paint the top portion of it with my Ballet Slipper Pink Waverly Chalk Paint. And I did about three coats on that just to cover up that metal. Um, and then I will use a purple metallic paint marker I have in my craft stash to... Um, outline the ridges of the cupcake wrapper and to um, trace around the bottom of the cupcake wrapper as well. Right there you see me using a smaller paintbrush just to get into the little grooves of the cupcake because so, it looks like a scalloped you know, design there. So here I go with my purple metallic paint marker just highlighting those ridges on the little cupcake paper and then I also highlighted or traced the scalloped edges on the bottom of them and then that's when I decided to go around the bottom of that faux paper uh, yeah look at my hair you guys you can see the top hair a, lo a little bit there I'm telling you I've been a mess this week a hot mess and I just did some touching up here and there with the pink uh, Waverly chalk paint and ballet slipper in some spots where I thought it needed it once that was done and dry I took a pink metallic paint marker I have on hand and I just traced the entire outside of the frosting part of the cupcake and then I will also use this marker to um, trace the scalloped edges to that meet with that, you know, paper lining or whatever. Um, and then I will also use this paint marker to highlight the hearts that are on the cupcake along with the little swirl there. And I also color in those hearts with this pink paint marker. Once I was done doing that with that pink metallic marker, I decided this was still missing something. So I just took some of that red puffy paint I had on hand from Dollar Tree from Christmas time. And I just put dots all over the frosting part of this cupcake to look like sprinkles. And then I let it sit out on my desk overnight to dry. And I have it hanging in my kitchen above my coffee pot there. And there is a close-up of it. So you guys, let me know what you guys think of these projects. And if you guys will... Um, tackle any of these on your own. If you're new here, thanks so much. I hope you choose to stick around, subscribe, and become part of this crazy family. Please make sure to leave a comment, like uh, this video, and all that other good stuff. Love you all so much. Thanks.